the BSCC looked at camera footage and saw that many programs were not actually occurring in the units when they were scheduled to be. For a few months, our Probation Oversight Commission, community-based organizations, and various board offices have brought this to the attention of the Probation Department. So this motion directs our Auditor Controller to evaluate the probation's processes for overseeing, monitoring, and reporting on calendared youth programs. As commissioners, we visit LP regularly, and we hear youth tell us they desperately want programming, but none are available. We hear staff describe how they are creatively implementing their own programming because there's a void. We see large numbers of youth piled up in day rooms saying they're bored. And we hear from providers who can't get into the facilities due to unclear protocols and communication channels. Probation leadership tells us they have a vision for what programming should look like. We have yet to see how or when they will implement that vision. The POC has been tracking the programs and calendars of Los Padrinos really closely since October 2023 when we found that important programming like substance abuse was not being delivered as according to the calendars. Programming opportunities provide our young people with something to look forward to on a daily basis. It's not just for keeping them busy. They're an opportunity for the young people to envision a different path for themselves and for just a couple hours a week to sit with a caring adult who can help them envision a different future.